Alright, alright. Let's, uh... We're broke. Or nearly broke. Uh, let's just, uh... I try to get her stamina up slightly more just so she's... So I'll have to work as a laborer. And that's just so she doesn't get sick as easily. Could I ever go on vacation? No, we can't. We can't. We have no money, right? Right. <laughs> Great. And she, Faith, Faith is 17 years old now. Well, I mean, she's been 17, but, you know. We only have a bit over a year left with her. So, I want to make sure it is as good as possible. I don't know, maybe we'll spend this last year really pushing the morals, morality, but... Or maybe we might uh, keep pursuing elegance further. Maybe even take a look at uh, increasing the other one. What's the other one? Uh, it's, is it Glamour? Is that what the other one is called? I think. It's break time. Oh yeah. Alright, good, good, okay. But yeah, if we look here... Yeah, she has zero glamour currently. And we could perhaps get her some. Uh, I'm not sure what line of work... Probably bar? I think a bar would probably increase that. You know, I'll be at least slightly glamorous. That's generally a decent thing to be, right? And so long as it doesn't erode her morals too much. Takes a lot of it endurance. Okay, great successes. I like that. It is increasing glamour. Increases us quite a bit as well. Okay, okay, good successes. She's actually surprisingly good at this job. I mean, she's not great at it, but... I expected worse. Okay, what's the stress looking like now? 42! We'll have her work twice at the bar, and we'll let her rest, and then after that we'll probably get back to, like, church and whatnot. But, you know, I figure a woman should have a bit of glamour. You know, you want to be a well-rounded individual. Right. Quit breaking things, Faith. Okay. Good. Also some decent money. It's not bad. Ooh, don't spill wine all over the customers. That's <laughs> less than ideal. Okay, cool. And there you go. Break time. Okay. Well then, 
I don't know, maybe we can see if we can get her up over 1500 morality. Says, I don't think uh, working at the church stresses her at all. That ought to be quite doable. Well, maybe. Depends on how much we can actually raise it by, but I mean, I think it's doable. Also going to want to get the reputation up, probably. I think that would probably help things that way. You know, I mean... Recognition by society is actually one of the more important things. If you want to be like... Uh, like... How to best put this into words. You can... So for example, you can write the best... The objectively best book ever written. But if you don't have the reputation in society, and if society doesn't notice and recognize this, then you will still be a failure. Or you might be able to say, uh, well, I mean, I was a success creatively. I was a success in the fact that I uh, honed my... my uh, craft or my trade. But ultimately, I would probably describe both that life as maybe not a total failure, but definitely I would just go around and say, Man, I was such a success in life. I wrote a great book and no one bought it. In fact, barely anyone's even read it. That being said, I mean, a lot of people do, or not a lot, but there are people that get kind of post mortem success or recognition, you know? That's definitely a thing that happens, so. I mean, you got that. And maybe people today don't recognize your genius or whatever, but who knows, maybe 50 years down the road, your work is the cornerstone of classes about literature or something. I don't know. I don't know why we're talking about this, uh, but ultimately, though, that's why we want to get the reputation up. Because, you know, it's great. It'll help her be more successful when she's actually alive, because I would face to be successful while she's alive. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't think any parent would wish on their children to be failures in life, but then, as a consolation prize, I guess, be re get the respect or recognition you deserve after you die. And it's better than not getting it, I suppose, but I'd rather, uh, uh I'd rather also be successful in life, you know? Also, uh, it's surely, it probably must be time to change outfits by now. So we should probably get to that, shouldn't we? Alright, great. Okay. It's currently spring. There you go, spring glows, hooray. Okay. Keep working at the church. Get that morality up. I believe uh Faith because the way this game works is she doesn't leave on her like birthday, she leaves at the end of the year, I think. So we should probably uh, have one more harvest festival as well. Which Faith should hopefully be able to win. We have to really, uh... I don't think increased elegance much at all since then. However... We have actually gotten some glamour. Which... I don't know. I'm not sure how the calculations are run exactly. I'm not sure if some glamour is... Like, extremely significantly better than no glamour. Like, I mean... If it's got calculations of elegance times glamour, then 
one glamour would be significantly better than a zero glamour. I don't think the uh, calculations are that are that exactly, but we'll see, I guess. Yeah, I wonder uh, what uh, religion she is actually. I I don't know. Hmm. And with the cross up there, it's prob on that picture down there in the church. It's probably a Christian denomination. Not quite certain which exactly. I I don't and I'm not knowledgeable enough on uh, like all of the various Christian sects to be able to accurately judge from the limited information this game provides as to which one it is. Uh, the year is 1677, which doesn't help us much. I mean, it could be Catholic, Orthodox, a Protestant, a, a branch of Pro a Protestant church. Uh, that could definitely be the case. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure if there are any branches of Christianity that specifically like using the uh, cross with like the circle thing at the top. Instead of just a normal cross, it has like a little circle at the top, which yeah, I'm not sure if the if which if any branches of Christianity do that. And I mean the uh, priest guy seems to wear purple, which might be uh, there might be a branch of Christianity that does that again. I'm not an expert on like the specifics of various religions, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. <laughs> uh, of course, I mean, it could just be Christian in general and not a reference to any specific denomination. So, hmm. Who knows? If you do, well, why don't you, uh, state your theory in the comments? Yeah. Also, we're out almost up to 1500. That's great. Told you we could do it. Okay, great successes. I like that. I like great success. Granted, you always have great success. Probably because you're such a faithful Christian. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, really, at this point, we're just kind of running down the clock. I mean... I'm fairly certain at this point we've probably done everything we need to do to achieve whatever, like, the religion ending is. I believe it's going to be fall soon, so I suppose we should probably uh, change the outfit to autumn clothes. Or autumn, sorry. Oh, what do you know? The ones we're wearing at the start of this episode. Cool. Okay. Uh, yep, keep on working at the church. Woohoo! And even more work. Okay. But yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it's possible that maybe we actually need to get up to like 2,000 morality to uh, succeed in the religious ending. Also, it, 
her birthday happened at some point that I didn't even notice. <laughs> that probably makes me an absolutely terrible father, doesn't it? But, uh, happy birthday, Faith! You're 18! Uh, I'm ready to hopefully go out and become, like, I don't know, Pope or something. Again, I'm... Or... Or, or Patriarch of the Eastern Orthodox Church. There's a Protestant minister. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, again, we don't really know what... Religion this is exactly Which uh, huh. Does that make me a bad father for sending my daughter to become a very devout follower of a religion that I'm not even actually certain what it is I feel like it might Oh harvest festival go for it faith Miss Kingdom contest, because uh, it would take some divine intervention for you to win the martial arts competition. Okay, time to proceed. A thousand judges, decide the winner, blah 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 blah, we've done this. Alright, here we go. Miss Kingdom. Alright. What's the expected announcement for God of the Sun? Faith, of course. Second. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, start the votes. Now then, mood. What's the expected announcement? Karna. Hmm, Lilith. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. Start. Okay. Finally, God of the Stars. Uh, expected announcement. Hmm. Uh, I'll bribe the judges. I'll bribe 200 people. Go, use up all the money. Great. That probably didn't help much, did it? Alright, committee, yay. Will Faith win the whole thing this time? Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, God of the Sun Award is... Faithcraft! God of the Moon Award is... Karina Moon. Ha. Uh, God of Stars... Nastarnakin. So the question is... Who of these three women will be Miss Kingdom? Where is is... Faithcraft! Oh yeah. Probably didn't even need the bribery. Almost definitely didn't need the bribery, but... Whatever. It happened, so here we are. Yeah. Okay. Good job, Faith. That's two times now, right? Maybe three. I think it's just two, though. Oh, splendid! Your father must be proud of you. It's an honor, Your Majesty. Okay, Miss Kingdom contest is it? And meanwhile, the martial arts competition stuff happens. Okay. Fight is over. Otto Sochini, second place Wolf Chief. Great. Good job, guys. Alright, Arbor Cecil's over. Alright, just two more months now to work out stuff. Uh, I should probably talk to my daughter, right? And that's outside opinion. Uh, we'll hear about that, sure. Alright, ask the people. Oh, it would be strange if you don't know that girl's name. She's a very kind and sincere girl. I don't think she's very good with her studies. Okay. Whatever. Hey, Faith. Let us, let me converse. Converse attentively. My child, Faith. You are really good, child. I am proud of you. <laughs> You're such a teddy bear, father. Spirit has decreased. Yay? No? We used our money to bribe the judges. That's less than ideal. But uh, who needs money when you have 
That's sure. That's mating. No. Redo. Okay, let, let's try that again. Who needs money when you have God, right? So, uh, go to church. There you go. Proceed. Good, good, good. Yeah, well, we just uh, noticed that the uh, little, like, village back there is quite nicely drawn. In the window. I've been playing this game for how many hours now and haven't really paid attention to that, but it's nice. Okay, good. Hey, and last one, here we go. Well, at least of this month, I think we've got one more month after this. And then Faith will leave. Start blazing her own trail in the world. Probably one that has something to do with this... religion. Okay, Faith. And since you're probably going to end up being a religious teacher or whatever, here, I'm gonna preach to you! Faith, honestly, just pretending to be good won't get you far in society. What are you trying to become? It's my fault. I'm sorry. I'll try to be more careful. Oh, okay. Perhaps one last... Well, actually, we'll probably have time to do that next time. Okay. Okay, to the church. You know what? You can have a nice rest after you're done. Some free time before you have to stand on your own two feet for yourself. Ah. I will say, if Faith gets anything other than whatever they're, whatever, other than like none or something, I will be very shocked. <laughs> uh, it's conceivable she could get something that needs a high elegance. Yeah, go have some fun. Okay. There you go, Faith. It's snowing. You should probably get a different outfit on. Winter clothes. Okay, Faith. Now then, so thus far it's been fairly useless doing this all the times we've done it, but... About to... Year's almost over. We're about to leave. You're 18. One last trip to the castle, alright? Maybe you can put a good, in, a good word in with the king. Alright? Talk with the guard. You again? Hello. Uh, hmm, yeah. Okay, we don't really need to voice act all this. We know exactly what happens here. Hello. Hello, attendants. How are you? Go to yep. Okay. This is so long and drawn out. Really faced should be on like a first name basis to King right now. Right now? Oh you again! Oh welcome, is your father well? Yes, your majesty. Oh, three months until the fateful day. Okay. Um. Okay, more church for you. It's probably what the rest of your uh, life will be filled with, so you might as well get used to it. Okay, good. So maybe it does actually go on the, uh, birthday. For some reason I was thinking it was at, always at the end of the year. 
or subs like. Hmm. It will. No, no, it's. I think the game always starts you like April. So it ends you in April. Gotta do it. That's partially right. Okay. Uh, are there any skills we want her to maybe develop slightly before she leaves? A bit of intelligence cut her, right? Okay. What would build intelligence? The hospital. And also, you know, caring for the sick, that's a good thing. Right? That's something the faithful ought to do. Okay. Hey, you're the new part time of helping the doctor. It's no easy task, dear. Are you sure you can handle all oh, seeing blood? Sure, she can. Okay, good work. Yeah, I mean, you want to have at least a baseline of intelligence. Not everyone needs to be. So, like, so, so, like a rocket scientist or something, but, you know. It's always good to have at least a baseline level of intelligence. Yeah, that way you can do stuff, be a more effective and contributive member of society. Oh, yeah, don't faint after seeing blood or whatever. Oh, you, she stepped on a person with a broken leg! Oof. That is... I feel bad for that person, whoever they were. Okay. Not bad, not bad. One more month. Okay. I'll have you work at the hospital a couple more times, get that, uh, intelligence up, also it'll build up your, uh, money a bit, so that'll be helpful. Okay. Ugh, yeah, don't step on people, Faith. How are you even doing that? They're clearly in beds. They're not about to get amputations, so it probably didn't actually matter in the long run. He was losing that like anyways, so that's fine, I guess. Ooh, that is really bad. Faith, do better this time. Good work, Faith. Yeah, go have some fun. One last fun before you leave. Good. The day before the fateful day. Alright, Faith, uh, for starters, it's spring. Don't overheat, okay? Uh, get one last opinion about you? Okay. Yeah, don't stray if you don't know. She's sincere and. She's. Yeah, okay. Exact same as last time. It hasn't done anything any other time, but just go talk to the king. Okay? Talk with the guard. Hello. Yeah. Come on. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe it'll do something on the last day. Alright, King. Oh, you again. 
Oh, welcome. Is your father well? Yes, your majesty. Okay. Just have a quick check. Converse tentatively. My child Faith, you are a really good child. I'm proud of you. <laughs> You're such a teddy bear, father. Okay. I'm going to real quickly save in case the game crashes or something. Don't want to lose everything. Kaboom. Okay. Here we go. Faith. It has been my pleasure raising you over these past years in game. But it's time that we part ways, at least for now. Alright. The fateful day. Time flew by as fast as an arrow through the sky. Just like that, eight years passed by, as if they were a dream. Thanks to the endless affection and guidance she received from Kraft, Faith grew to be a truly inspiring person. Faith received high marks on assessments all her life, starting when she was a little girl. Thanks to the exceptional education she received from her foster father Kraft, this was to such an extent that by the time she turned 18 years old, there was not a single person in the country who did not know her name. As Faith lived with Faith deep in her heart, from a young age, becoming a nun, when she reached womanhood was the only choice she ever could have made. Priest Moruski had high expectations for Faith ever since she was little, and felt that she should grow up to be an exceptional nun. With the priest's close guidance, Faith became a nun, trained by or trusted by all. While Priest Moruski was guiding Faith, he came to realize that her morality and spirituality were far more profound than his own. I cannot trap such a figure in a small church like this. With this in mind, the priest recommended faith to priest Sabadora of the Central Church. Priest Sabadora was a great leader who live, le led the world's churches. Under the guidance of Priest Sabnora, she spent her days in brilliant radiance and became one of the head priests in no time. Seven years after Faith had joined the Central Church, Priest Sabnora passed away. Faith and Priest Ruski were chosen to be considered for the position of the head priest. Due to Faith's young age, the Central Church strongly supported Priest Bruski. However, Priest Bruski explained, Faith is the best person for this position. It is to the point that I almost desire to seek her teachings. Since when has age truly mattered when it comes to priesthood? Following Priest Bruski's lead, Faith became the Central Church's head priest. Faith, at the age of 27, had become the youngest person to ever become a head priest. As Faith sat at as the position of the head priest, the nation's faith grew even more brilliant. Thank you all, thank you for all your hard work for the last eight years, and congratulations. With all the high appraisals she's received, your daughter grew up to be a respectable adult. This is also thanks to your education. You were an exceptional father. Huh. Okay, Faith. I'm probably going to need to do some editing there. 
that text went by very quickly, and I was not able to read it properly, so we'll probably have to do a, uh, voiceover, also stats, and maybe slow down the footage slightly there. But from what I gathered in the moment, Faith worked her way up kind of like the, uh, church ladder, the church corporate ladder? Is that the proper terminology? And what basically became the high or head priest or whatever. So basically, if, if this church represents the Catholic Church, Faith became the Pope. So, at the age of 27 too, that's, that's impressive. Those religious organizations are quite often a bit uh, seniority based. So, good job Faith. Good job. And is that all we get here? If I click, we fade, and here we are. Okay. So then, that has been Princess Maker Refine. Now, if you've missed it, I did recently do a Princess Maker 3 Let's Play that you should probably take a look at. And who knows? We may do yet another playthrough of Princess Maker 3 coming up pretty soon. Hint, hint, twig, twig. But until then, I've been CBCraft. I'll catch you in. Um, we might do more Princess Maker Fine at some point, but uh, more immediately, probably Princess Maker Three. So, so, uh, bye. <laughs>